I'm going to cheat a little bit and take you to a more advanced query just because I want to get advanced quickly on this. So here you go. I do my source category equals Apache Access. I can search for anything that has the word get, then do my parsing if nobody has done it for me. And in this particular case, I'm saying I don't want status code 200s and 304s. Perhaps I want to focus on all other status codes. That's what the not is all about. And then I'm time slicing. This allows me to trend over time. So I'm going to time slice by one minute. So these 15 minutes worth of data, I'm time slicing by one minute. So I'm having 15 buckets, if you will. And then I'm going to count by status code. Then I'm going to sort that data. And I'm going to use something called transpose to really allow me to look at that data in a more meaningful way. And voila, what you get here in just a second is the data shown by time slice and by status code for the last 15 minutes. Here you go. I'm going to show you how I can display that data a little more meaningful. There you go. But I am no machine, and it's a little easier to look at this data if I were to plot it. So I can choose any of the plotting options that I have in here. More about this in the future um, videos, but I can easily plot my data and find out some of the ways that I can visualize that data. I'm going to cheat again and look and show you another option. Since source IP is something that had already been parsed, I'm going to use it in here using the lookup operator. Um, in this particular case, look for longitude and latitude against this service called GeoDefault on that IP address, then count by latitude and longitude, and I end up with a count of latitude and longitude, which is where my messages are coming from. I can easily map this by doing such a thing, and of course the usual stuff applies. If I uh, zoom in or zoom out, I would get all those messages to, uh, to appear on my screen. Thank you.